As you guys can see, we are playing Pokemon X on the Lemonade 3DS Simulator Android and getting more than 150 FPS. Let's get started. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here, and the season of new emulators is finally here. Today, we'll be taking a look at the brand new Lemonade 3DS Simulator for Android, which is the continuation as well as upgraded version of official Citra Android that also includes the amazing features of Citra MMJ Android. So, first of all, initial Lemonade release was just released two hours ago, and I'll be talking about setting it up, best settings, gameplay, and much more so be sure to watch the full video hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel let's get started so basically as you guys know citra enhanced edition was released about two years ago and lemonade emulator is the continuation of of that project from the same developer who created Citra Enhanced Edition and it was one of the best 3D simulators for Android. Basically in Lemonade Emulator there have been new features which you can read right here implementing down count to reduce CPU usage by around 15%, fix for FIFA games, some bug fixes for even Mali GPU so Mali support is present in the simulator, implementing features from Citra MMJ Android such as skip slow draw, skip texture copy etc and some internal changes. But basically what you'll need to note is that this is an alpha release or pre-release build of Lemonade 3DS Simulator. It is 100% open source and is available on its official GitHub page. So note in the future there is much more to come such as rebranding, performance improvements, bug fixes and stability, compatibility uh, improvements and much more. So let's get started by setting up this Lemonade 3DS Simulator on Android. There we go, welcome screen. Now you will notice that the setup screen is just like the Nintendo Switch Emulator which got taken down recently. That's because official Citra Android and that emulator had same developers and they had same UI before the official Citra Android development was stopped. Anyways, we'll skip everything and select a user folder. Once you create a user folder, just tap on the OK button and then tap on the next button. You'll need to select the folder where you have dumped your 3DS games on Android. Alright, once that has been done, let's tap on the next button and then tap on continue. There we go guys, Lemonade 3DS emulator has been successfully initialized and it is showing me my 3DS games. So let's just go ahead and tap on this section and check out the settings for Lemonade 3DS Simulator. You'll notice that it is very similar in terms of UI to official Citra Android. That's because as I mentioned before, it is folk version of official Citra Android as well as Citra MMJ as well as Citra Enhanced Edition. So all of the things have been merged together to provide you with the best 3DS Simulator for Android. Let's go to settings in terms of general limit speed percentage. We always got to disable this and turn it to 200%. By the way, if you guys want me to create an custom configuration for Lemonade 3DS Simulator Android, then let's hit 300 likes on today's video. Anyways, let's head on over to the graphics section. In terms of graphics, we get Vulkan as well as OpenGL ES support. We'll go with Vulkan because it is more stable and provides you with better performance. Uh, but if you have issues with running games on Vulkan API, then make sure to turn it to OpenGL if you see any black screens. A synchronous shader compilation will keep it disabled. Internal resolution, you can go all the way up to 10x, which is pretty cool, but I'll go with 4x because even 4x is overkill. By the way, the device which I'll be using for today's testing is my IQ12 with Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor and 16 GB of RAM. Disk shader cache has been enabled. Accurate multiplication can be enabled if you guys face any graphical issues. Let's scroll down. Other than that, we have dumb texture, custom texture, as well as asynchronous custom texture loading. Uh, we can keep everything else default. Once that has been done in terms of audio, we have audio stretching which you'll need to disable. Uh, sound output you'll have to keep it at surround for best possible uh, sound experience or audio experience. Once all of that has been set in terms of system, there is nothing else. So yeah, I think we are all set to using the Lemonade 3D simulator. But before that, let's go to uh, the debug section where we can set the CPU clock speed. I'll keep it at 200%. CPU JIT has been enabled along with hardware shader. We think we'll make sure to disable this option. Debug renderer, yeah, keep it disabled. LLE applets is also available, but I'll talk more about it in my next video. New 3DS mode has been added. So yeah, guys, that was everything regarding the setup of uh, the Lemonade 3DS Simulator, you can also import your custom GPU drivers for better performance. But obviously I won't be doing that because Citra 3DS Simulator is a pretty old 3DS Simulator. It doesn't really require any custom drivers to improve its performance. By default it is pretty cool. So let's just go ahead and try out Pokemon X and see how much FPS can we actually get from Lemonade 3DS Simulator Android. And immediately I can see it's going off the roof because just take a look at how fast it is. Let me swipe back. Let's go to uh, Lemon Tweaks option. We can enable FM with Skip Slow Draw. We'll enable Skip Slow Draw. Afterwards, we'll go to the Settings option. I don't know if there is an Show FPS option. I'm trying to find it. Is it here? Okay, in terms of Overlays option, we have Show FPS. So we'll just go ahead and enable it. 
uh, other than that yeah this is pretty great ui to be honest uh, we can lock driver we also have cheats option and if you tap on the settings option uh, it will take you back to the original settings so let's just go ahead and tap on the a button to choose our language and see how much fps do we get and there we go pokemon x cutscene will tap on the a button to start the game now we are emulate don't forget that we are emulating this game at 4x resolution and we are getting more than 200 fps so that's going to be pretty amazing uh 3d simulation on android is very very stable and i was really surprised when citra emulator was taken down it just got caught into crossfire but it doesn't really matter because now we have amazing projects like lemonade 3d simulator for android uh with that being said now that we have created our character we are all set to playing 3ds games on android so now that the game has started let's look into the mirror and change our outfit all right now that we are all set to go outside let's see what fps can we get outside house inside house we already got like 100 plus fps outside house is an interesting part and uh immediately you will see and frame drop we are now down to 54 fps but after the shaders were compiled we are now once again up to 92 fps so that's pretty cool uh, even in outside world scenarios we are getting almost uh, 80 to 100 fps while emulating an 3ds game with 4x graphics resolution now note it won't be similar with uh, all of the 3ds games and also with all of you guys because i am using an flagship device to emulate pokemon x that's why we are getting so amazing fps but uh, if you want great fps snapdragon 450 or above should be sufficient you will definitely get amazing fps and even on mali gpu devices uh, the support has been improved uh, including performance improvements and much more so i definitely recommend you guys to give it a try be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i'll be keeping you guys up to date with all the latest updates regarding the lemonade 3d simulator for android including its brand new updates applet launcher best settings and much more so till then uh, including configuration as well i just had to remind you guys anyways that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching make sure to hit that like button i'll see you guys next time goodbye